Hello everybody, it's your girl Richie Smart and you're watching Watch Dog Plus TV. And today we're talking about 10 ways to escape an attack if you're being followed or watched. I know very well that nobody wants to experience or nobody wants to encounter such thing. But we have to be very very careful with what we do and where we go. Now, if you're walking and then hear a footstep behind you, and then you turn around to see someone walking towards you. I know very well that the fear will be in you and you will start wondering, are they following me? If you are ever in this situation, here is what to do. Number one, start walking slightly faster. Then, if you hear the person's footsteps catching up with you, then your suspicions are correct. Number two, try to make thorns, three or four right turns are enough to bring you back to your starting position then you will be able to confirm if the person is after you since they have no reason to circle the area and you will get a chance to disappear the moment you make a turn that's it and then number three start running until they lose sight of you number four if some people are walking by you will make a noise to attract the person walking by or say hey and pretend you know them then let them know that someone is following you if they can help you number five don't go to your house straight you'll find a public area where there is a lot of people then mix yourself with them because the pursuer will know where you live or might want to come back later or wait for you to leave the house Number six, try to disguise yourself. If you are in the street alone and still figure out someone is behind you, try to enter a corner and change your dressing. If you are packing your hair, you can lose it, put it down. Try to disguise yourself so, so that you can confuse them. Number seven, if you got a busy road, pretend to say you have forgotten something by patting your po uh, by patting your pockets uh, say it loud where is my wallet then start walking even faster in the opposite direction then the person will be anxious and will want to withdraw back number eight don't bring out your phone and start browsing or texting immediately the lights from the screen will make it harder for you for your eyes to adjust in the dark and we also slow you down to escape number nine as you walk find out the street name look at the house number or what stores or building are around you might need the details later it's very important you can turn around look at your follower clothes face and eye without no fear you can also say hey i can see you and I have you I have already snapped you and I've sent your picture to the police just make the person fear the person will be like oh my god this person has already cashed me or something like that and and might want to run away number 10 which is the last one stay confident and do not look as if you are nervous or scared if the pursuer approach you and asks you if you know anywhere just answer i don't know i don't know the people keep consistent eye contact that particular time don't even let anything to distract you if you have a key in your hands or inside your bag you can bring it out then place them in your palm your palm with the key uh, with the key teeth then sticking out through your fist if anything happened you have something pointly to defend yourself so that you can escape and as you escape don't just stay quiet please shout and draw attention and then you can get your phone out immediately as you are running and call the police just die one nine one one as you run and try to focus uh, tell the person the street the name of the street uh, the house number where you you know the things you are seeing around the area just where you are and never give up until help comes